Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're touring the Ironwood townhouse floor plan. <laughs> Here at Bel Canto in Cadence, built by Richmond American Homes. We have 1,800 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a two-car garage, with a starting price on this ironwood floor plan of $395,000. So under $400,000 starting price, then we'll go into all the upgrades when we go into the house. We're located, as I mentioned, in Cadence, which is a master plan community in Henderson, which is located in the southeast side of the Las Vegas Valley. Now, uh, these are this is a really nice uh, HOA with only forty dollars a month fee, which gives you still a nice you know community pool, community parks and amenities, trails and all that stuff for a nice outdoors living experience. As we go into this uh, townhouse, I'll show you a beautiful floor plan, and uh, this one is separated in the middle. So, so these are two units, right? Uh, the one next door and this one is the marble wood, which we'll go and tour uh, shortly. But then. Right here in the middle, we have a firewall, which separates the two homes. It's pretty much like living in a single family home, with the, except in, with, with the exception that you are sharing one wall with the neighbor. However, this wall is a firewall, which is very great when it comes to soundproofing. And also, uh, you know, it pretty much gives you that privacy, just like if you were to live in a single family home, uh, because it has some extra room in between. You just don't see it from the outside, but there's, uh, you know, air in between the wall and uh, also you know very sound insulation that provides you that privacy that you need side entrance over here in this house with your garage over to the left and as we walk in we're greeted with a nice open floor plan look at this concept right here with a nice uh, dining room right across from here some people however don't like the option when you're walking in from the front door right here and boom everything is there right some people really do like it. And I'm one of those people that does like it. In fact, I don't mind it because, uh, you know, you're buying a townhome. You have to understand that uh, that's the product that you have. You don't have as much square footage in this house. So in order to get creative and give you a nice open floor plan, they have to do that. And uh, look at this kitchen. Pretty nice size, okay, for 1,800 square feet. And you even get a corner pantry as well, which gives you a good size shelf space. Look at that. This one does have a few upgrades. When it, when you buy this house, it comes with just carpet in the dining room, living room. It'll come with granite on top of the countertops. It'll come with the maple cabinet, so not this one that you see. The appliances here are also upgraded because it's a model. They want to make, show you what you can do if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, you also have that backsplash, which is not included. You only get a four inch backsplash of whatever the granite countertop is that is included. And then uh, for the cabinets and all that stuff, those are, those are all upgrades. However, let's say you go to the design center, you want to make something like this happen. You want something similar to the model home. You're probably looking at around $40,000 to spend to make it look similar to what you see right here. with The upgraded appliances, nice backsplash, uh, cabinets, paint color with the dual paint and also extending this tile throughout the first floor, okay? The good thing about this home is that the structure options included are nine foot ceilings on both floors with eight foot doors throughout. So you don't have to spend any money on that. For the structural, all you need to spend is probably the money for the covered patio, which you see outside, which is not included. However, you could do a little more wood to save some money. It's gonna range probably five to six grand for that one. Or you could do something built in like this one, which will range anywhere between 10 to 12. Nice look in the back. The backyard is probably gonna be something about this size, okay? So probably 13 to 15 feet deep. Definitely you can't put a pool. However, this one is a nice side yard as well. Depending if it's an end unit or not, you might get an extra space on the side. Something to consider. Now, let's see. This is one of my favorite, I think floor plans that they have in this community. They have, they offer four floor plans, all ranging between 1,800 square feet, which is uh, the, the smallest one, all the way up to 2,050 square feet. Powder room to the left, even has a window in it. 
the garage, I do like this, this builder is leaving us with the option to open the garage and check it out. This floor plan is, offers a pretty good sized garage. It's about 22 feet deep, if not even more than that. So plenty of room to fit a, you know, a big vehicle, uh, even with the high garage doors as well, which are eight foot high compared to the regular standard six foot eight high. You can get a window here in the garage, which lets in some natural light with the tankless water heater and the soft water loop, which is optional. This one, however, that is included in the base price. As we go back out, we'll find over here to the left, some storage underneath the stairs, and it goes down a little bit underneath these stairs as well to give you some extra space for the items that you never uh, take out. Powder room over here, as I mentioned. Yeah. Nice open floor plan downstairs. Let's go on the second floor. If we go up, we have an upgraded stairwell. It comes with a pony wall. And then the carpet, this one is definitely an upgraded option. Then you can choose at the design center. Nine foot ceilings on the second floor as well, which is nice. And the eight foot doors as well. You have your primary all the way down to the left with, uh, I think that's a laundry room. And then over here, you have a bathroom and the two bedrooms on this side. And also good size loft. However, this loft does have a little bit of a weird layout because it's very narrow and long. So I would say the best situation for this one is probably to put in a TV right there on that wall if you wanted a TV on the loft. And then you have an L-shaped couch right here. That's what I would have done as a designer. And then on this side, you can still put a desk just like that one or something built in, which would be really nice for like a work desk or homework nook for your kids. We have a dual underground sink. It comes with one, you can upgrade to the second one. And then a uh, nice cabinet's choice. This is probably like an $8,000 upgrade for the whole house. And then in here, they also upgraded tile in the bathroom. It comes with a fiberglass enclosure, but it's nice that Richmond does allow you to pretty much choose any kind of tile and customize this house the way you want it. And then over on this side, we have another two bedrooms left and right here. This one is a little bit smaller, appears to be, because of that walk-in closet that we have right here. You see how far it comes out versus this one doesn't. So this one gives you still a decent sized bed, like nine by 11 probably, with a sliding door closet. You see right here, a full size bed with a few cabinets on the side. So decent size, you know, pretty much Nothing special. And this will be the front of the house window. As we go over into the other bedroom, we'll have a little bit more room because you see the space in be behind it. Right there is where that walk-in closet is, which is very spacious. However, you do have a way bigger bedroom. So that's about 10 feet by, what is this? 14 maybe? Very nice. Look at that. You have a full desk. I mean, you could fit another desk on this side as well. They just put a huge nightstand. So really nice. And this one also offers two windows. So one on that wall and one right behind you. Okay. I like this uh, layout. It's probably one of the top contenders for $3.95 starting price. That's not bad at all. Now you go in here, you'll find the laundry room, which also offers an optional sink, as you can see which is great. And then you have also the cabinets on top. So a really great option for anybody that is a first time home buyer looking for their first home to break into home ownership. That'd be great. Look at this linen closet, so spacious. And also for anybody maybe looking to downsize, uh, looking to move out here, maybe they have a home on the other, let's say California or any big city nearby, and they're looking to downsize and get into a home that is uh, more affordable, something that, you can buy for maybe in the low 400s, depending on how you negotiate with the builder and what uh, what incentives they give you. Oh yeah, look at this size of primary. It's pretty good. And uh, you know, this would be a great option for them. It does fit a vast variety of people for this house. Probably the only downside would be the fact that your backyard is on the smaller end. So if you have pets maybe, or bigger pets, you might need something bigger than that. And, uh, and also the fact that, you know, it's a townhouse, so some people don't like it, but I think that firewall in between really solves the issue. If you're looking for 
uh, something a little bit less expensive than a single family home. I like how they customized this one. They did the handmade tile. Options, subway. Beautiful green color actually. I like it. All the way to the ceiling. That's how you can customize with these Richmond homes. You can pretty much customize everything in here. Make it look the way you want it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, this home tour. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this a house uh, for you? And also, what are the downsides? I think the only downside is small backyard, I guess, because it's the townhouse. And the fact that this loft, it has a little bit of weird configuration. However, I think if you if the designer would have put in the right size couch, put in a TV in here, it would have made it seem a little bit more functional than it actually looks. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. I'd love to hear it and appreciate you watching until the end. See you guys in the next video.